If you want to add professional motion graphics and life to your graphic designs without getting lost in complex 3D software, Spline's new timeline animation will change everything for you today. In the next few minutes, we are going to build an animated scene with Spline step by step, super easy. You'll see how the timeline works, why it's so powerful, and exactly how to use it for websites, client projects, personal projects, and even your own portfolio. Spline has always been an approachable path in 3D for many designers. While states and transitions are great for quick interactive motion, the new timeline feature that I'm about to show you now gives you granular control for spectacular animation renders. It's something I'll be using here on Satori Graphics. You can now keyframe properties like position, scale, rotate, and materials, and then fine tune the pacing using a horizontal timeline. Now this is truly next level customization with motion, and I do really love it. You'll soon agree with me on this one, I'm sure. So if you've ever built animations before, the workflow feels natural right here with Spline. It keeps it simple so you can move quickly without a steep learning curve. This is a huge step for graphic designers. The same instincts you use for layout and typography now extend to time, bringing life and dynamics to your graphics, turning static compositions into living visuals that move with rhythm and intent. And for the first animation, let's start with something very easy, like a cube, so we just get to grips with this software spline. I'll place the keyframe for its position at zero seconds. Then move forward to two seconds and drag it upwards. Instantly, we get motion between those two points. But if I stop here, the movement feels a bit, a bit stiff. By opening the graph editor, I can add easing so the cube starts gently, then it accelerates and slows into its final position. Without easing, movement is like a flat fill. It's technically correct, but it feels as stiff and lifeless as an early 2000s game character waiting for the texture to load in. But with easing, however, it becomes a gradient. It's smooth, dimensional and truly expressive. And so as you can see, the cube already feels intentional, like it has some purpose in this world. It's not just basic motion. But now imagine scaling this idea across multiple elements. If one object eases in while another rotates with a delay, your scene begins to feel orchestrated. You know, it's kind of like designed with intent and rhythm. Let's build something closer to a real project. I'm going to add some 3D text, perhaps a brand name, then play some background elements to frame it. Instead of everything animating all at once, I'll stagger the timing. The text fades in slightly after the shapes settle, giving the reveal a clean rhythm. This technique is something motion designers call offset animation. The human eye loves sequences where elements enter in a wave rather than all at once. Even without sound, the experience feels more cinematic and alive. For client work, this could be a logo reveal on a social media post. For your personal project, it might be the opening animation to your portfolio website something that could easily wow a potential client. Either way, you've taken something static and given it depth simply by layering motion thoughtfully. But we've yet to truly dive into what I deem to be the most useful stuff with Spline. Now here's where things get really interesting. You're not restricted to one linear animation with Spline. You can create multiple different timelines. So, one for an intro sequence, another for hover effects, another for clicks or scroll events. It's a highly intuitive workflow that I can tell has had a lot of thought put into it by the devs. And think about a project page. The hero text could animate in with a slow fade, while product models rotate when the user hovers over them. It looks really neat, but it doesn't take ages to create. That's the really neat part here. Or picture a digital invitation where elements actually animate in as you scroll down the page. 
these kinds of experiences used to require heavy coding or complex techniques. Now they're possible directly in your browser-based tool, Spline. And if interaction isn't really your focus, you can simply export your timeline as a video. So simply adjust the duration, the frame rates and the resolution, and you've got a polished motion graphic ready for presentations or social media. Animation isn't really a bonus skill anymore. It's becoming more and more expected in the graphic design industry. It doesn't matter if you're a UI, logo, branding, whatever it is, animation can fit into your workflow somewhere. So here's where it fits into a professional workflow. On landing pages, you could maybe start with a 3D intro that sets the tone and energy before a single word is read. For a client presentation, swap out static mockups for animated reveals that guide the eye and emphasize impact on a project. For social media, you can export short dynamic clips as reels or stories that immediately catch attention. And for your portfolio of work as a graphic designer, show not just what you designed, but how it moves and breathes through interactive timelines. With tools like Spline, you can add motion seamlessly, transforming static visuals into living, engaging experiences and staying ahead in a world where static is pretty much done. So check out Spline to explore the new timeline features and all of the other powerful tools it offers via the link down in the description box below. And a huge thanks to Spline for working with Satori Graphics and of course for sponsoring today's video. It's been really awesome going through Spline and seeing exactly what it can do. And if you didn't get your fill of graphic design content, just click one of those videos on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.